Hello everybody and welcome to LS1 Discovery. My name is Andris Roo. And I'm Anna Christine Jankersen. And in this video we will show you the integration of LS1 to SAP Business One. We've already downloaded and installed both LS1 and SAP Business One. But for those interested, you can download all the necessary files from the LS Retail Partner Portal and go to LS1 download and the latest version. So we have installed the LS1 POS. We have installed LS1 Site Manager, which is our back office system. And we have the LS1 Site Service, which takes care of our uh, real-time information. It's a web service running on the server. And we have also taken the SAP Business One integration package, which installs a plugin for each of these uh, applications to uh, connect to, to SAP Business One. Yeah. And for those interested that want to get more information about the installation, you can always go to our devhelp.ls-one.com and get more information about that. So let's open the LS1 Site Manager, the back office solution of LS1. We will now connect SAP Business One database to LS1. In a real deployed scenario, you would have a LS1 Site Manager at head office level connected to SAP Business One where the data would flow from SAP to LS1 Site Manager. And from there, the data would flow to a Site Manager deployed in each store. So here we have an initial database for LS1 site. Uh, as you can see, we don't have any items in this database, but we do have some initial settings to help us get started. Uh, the plugin that we installed previously has uh, added this tab to the site manager. And here I can go in, add my connection string to the integration framework of SAP. And when I've done that, I can select which database from or which company from the SAP database I, I want to connect to, and I can test my connection. In this integration demo, the item master, the prices, units of measure, taxes, barcodes, retail groups, customer, and trade agreements are all managed in SAP Business One and used in LS1. We're going to replicate all this down to LS1 using the LS1 data director, which is the scheduling mechanism within LS1. So what we do is that we trigger this job today. We're doing this manually, but in a real scenario, it will be triggered on a schedule. And what happens now is that all the items, customers and prices, units and uh, tax settings will flow from SAP Business One and to our database. Now our job has run successfully and we can uh, have a look at our items. We have received 70 items. We have received the customers from the demo database of SAP Business One. And now we can do the final configuration we need for our template store before we create sites for each of the warehouses. I need to select the currency that has just been replicated over and a default customer for the store. So let's go in and map the incoming and outgoing amounts in SAP to LS1 as well as create a corresponding store for each warehouse of SAP. So for the account mapping, we choose petty cash for incoming payments and outgoing payments. Then we can use the site that we just did some uh, changes for as a template for creating one store per warehouse from SAP Business One. Here we can see that the LS1 stores have been created. Let's open up SAP Business One, where we're now going to edit the price of an item and also add a barcode, which we later on going to sell in the point of sale. So the 
added the price from 30 to 50. And I add the barcode. There we go. And now this new information will float down with the job to S LS1 on a schedule. Now we've updated the price and added the barcode. Let's look at the inventory status. So we can confirm that there is a total of 359 items available. If we now go to the point of sale and we do an inventory lookup of the item using the barcode, we get a real-time connection to the SAP warehouse and we can say see that there's 259 items available. We're going to go ahead and sell one of these items. The price now we can see we entered the price of 50 without tax which gives us 60 with tax. Let's sell an additional item. We set it by pressing the button and now we pay with cash. Let's have a look at that transaction as it was posted in, in SAP Business One under invoices. We open up the latest and we can see that the items were the wheel and cart for £50 and the one terabyte disk sums up to £108. We can see their customer reference number includes both the store and the terminal uh, ID and we can see that an incoming payment has been booked for this amount. The customer has decided that he doesn't want the wireless card and has come back and wants a return. Then we can do a return transaction. We scan the ID of the receipt he has. We can see the all the items that he purchased, but he's only returning the VLAN card. We return the item and finalize the transaction. Now this return will be booked in SAP Business One. Now the return transaction has been booked and we can have a look at the latest credit memo of this item that was returned. That brings us to the end of this demonstration video. LS1 is now officially a certified solution on the SAP Business One platform. The solution will be available as a beta version on the 6th of July and official release on the 31st of August. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. For similar tutorials, go to youtube.com and search for LS1. You can also go to the lsretail.com website under products, navigate to LS1, where you'll find a lot of product information, including a free trial.